Welcome to the Weather Guru Podcast for this Saturday night, July 15th, 2023. We're midway through July, it's hard to believe, and the weather is proving to be summer is showing up its head as full force out in the west and the southwest and also the lower Gulf Coast states as well. Right now we're looking at the National Weather Service hazards and we have extreme heat excessive heat warnings all in the purple and all in the orange heat advisories all from the rim country of phoenix arizona all the way up through the deserts of southern california palm springs indio up through uh all the way up through the mojave deserts and las vegas um you know these areas are experiencing temperatures 115 to 123 degrees records could be broken on sunday tomorrow for death valley and all the usual hot spots in that area take extreme caution um people we've had two deaths so far related to these heat people hiking in the mountains and doing things like that so please take time to go inside drink plenty of water wear light clothing hydrate with electrolytes as well everything you can to stay cool in this extreme heat now we also have in the northeast we have flash flood warnings in effect a flood watch is in effect all along the i-95 corridor this extends all the way from charlottesville just north of charlottesville in the shendor valley up through dc baltimore philly new york um hartford connecticut um, Boston up through the New England, Northern New England. This is because we have a frontal boundary moving through that's going to bring showers tonight, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Heavy rain is possible in these areas. And we got to watch Vermont. As you know, some of the rivers there are already flooding. Capital of Vermont, Montpelier, is cleaning out from that damage. And also some areas down in the lower Connecticut River Valley there. We got to watch in the lower Hudson Valley as well. So be careful with that. Now, the National Hurricane Center picture looks much better for the Atlantic. Hurricane Don is moving away, as you know. It's only 40 miles an hour wind, sustained, moving north at 9 miles an hour. It's going to get caught up in the cooler latitude waters here and basically dissipate here. Um, but it is Don, so that's Don, and we look forward to the next E-name storm. Elsewhere, as you can see the satellite picture, not much is going on in the Caribbean or the Gulf of Mexico or the Atlantic, um, Cape Verde Atlantic season right now. That's pretty good news right now. Temperatures, sea surface temperatures are warm, but we have too much wind shear and just not a lot of um, lift and instability in the atmosphere right now to produce any tropical weather there. So... The Eastern Pacific, we have Calvin, which is a Category 2 storm, 100 mile an hour winds, moving west at 16 miles an hour. This will become a threat later on to the Hawaiian Islands, the big island of Hawaii. So uh, this could bring heavy rain, heavy surf to that area too as well, as it will pass by the Hawaiian Islands somehow to the south and weaken to a tropical storm. But Calvin is definitely looking like a threat to Hawaiian Islands as we speak. And that's going to move into the Central Pacific coming up on Monday. And that threat is going to be threatening the Hawaiian Islands, the big island chain there as it makes its initial approach toward that island. So on Calvin here, um, like I said, it's expected to move on Monday, to early Monday, and you can see this forecast cone track here. It brings it by Wednesday very close or over the big island of Hawaii, and then it's going to move in week into a depression by Thursday morning as it moves further away from Hawaii into the cooler waters of the Central Pacific. But max winds right now are 100 mile an hour. It's booked to maintain the hurricane strength through Sunday. Monday it will downgrade to a tropical storm and then move you know, southward. So this is going to be something to watch carefully for the Hawaii islands change and so um interest in the wise should monitor the coastly forecast closely as you know and that's how we're going to play that by ear so now we're going over the radar scope here and uh, i want to show you some central storms here we have some central storms here in the um, western pennsylvania area and western maryland area so far there's severe storm warnings for these cells mostly because of hail size of a half inch um, hail being reported with these storm tracks here if i zoom in so if you're in garrett or allegheny counties out there in cumberland and going west of hagerstown on i-70 that can be a rough ride or if you're on i-99 coming through bedford pa mcconnellsburg uh, mercersburg up through up through that area and as well that'd be heading towards chambersburg and Cass and greencastle and shippensburg along the um, the interstate there 81 corridor uh, about the next 30 to 35 minutes there but this heavy rain here is in effect we also have severe thunderstorm mornings in the uh not just in the uh in the pa area but we also have severe thunderstorm most of them are in the pa area as well this is the same warning here these all expire within the next 30 minutes so if you're in bedford county southwestern franklin county fulton county somerset county main gust is just straight line winds of 60 mile an hour winds and then of course you know the hails the dime size hail up to uh, up to a half inch size hail here as this rain continues this is the rain I was speaking of that's going to cause the flooding up north here. As you can see here, we have some of the flash flood warnings already posted for New York and Staten Island. Um, 
and that's going to be the, the heavy rain that's going to be caused by thunderstorms. All this complex is going to be moving eastward here and sliding into this zone here. So we're very concerned with. And some of these rivers up here, like I said, is going to be draining down into this basin here. So this is where all this rain is heading toward the north and northeast corridor. And that's why we had that flood watches and warning there as appropriate. So that's what's going on there as well. And um, everything else is just flash flood warnings. We do have some down south. I want to take this complex down here to Mississippi. They've been hit hard here over the past few weeks of rain and, and thunderstorms and tornadoes. We have one here in Yazoo City. This is 36 minutes here, expires in Yazoo City, Central Mississippi, same thing, 60 mile an hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. So no tornadoes out of this cell here, but you can see these cells here are not really bowing out as much here. It's just more like a straight line of MCS, uh, a multi-cell complex here, MCS system coming in to Yazoo City, Eden, Pickens, North uh, Mississippi, sorry, Canton, Jackson, uh, just north of Jackson and Ridgeland and Canton, Mississippi. So if you're in Goodman, Durant. Uh, uh, Carthage, Casioso County. Be careful. These storms here are going to be coming your way and they're going to produce some heavy rain and, gu and uh, gusty winds as well as that hail threat down there. And as well in Florida here, you have some free showers here coming through Navarre Beach, Fort Walton Beach, Niceville, some of the bedroom communities of Pensacola Beach here. This is just rain. Uh, that's steady rain, light rain. No worn storms on this cell here, these couple of cells here in Florida, so that's good news. But it might um, have take, get your chairs off the beach here as sunset approaches here for some of these places on the East Coast. Elsewhere, we just have brief little warnings in New Mexico for showers and things of that nature um, east of Santa Fe and east of the San Gabriel de Cristo Mountains here, but nothing really substantial here taken at the wider pit. So this has been your local weather forecast for Saturday night, July 15th, 2023. Please be sure to subscribe to Weather Guru for the latest interpretation of weather in the lower 48 United States. And I appreciate your support. Thank you, guys. Take care.